So, what do these two have in common? Well, let's find out in today's episode of Ranking. Hey everyone, welcome back to Viewpoint. Well, as you've noticed in our introduction for today's video, we have this. Well, I think um, you definitely probably would guess what's inside this box. Sounds like crackers, right? Well, in fact, um, this was sent to us by a friend of ours at Danbytes SG. They are a company, a local company, that sells brownie crisps. It sounds strange, um, like how do you turn a brownie into a crisp, aka some sort of cracker? Well, they're the first one to do it in Singapore, so let's us get to it, shall we, and see what's inside this box. Oh yeah, I'm using a brownie cut knife. Hold on, let me, let me take a proper cut knife. Got it? Let's open this up. By the way, I've not opened this yet, so that was the first incision. And okay, pretty easy. Oh, okay, that's it. Well, um, look at that. It's like even they bubble wrap food products. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, at Dead Bites. I mean, you really care your products, huh? With all this bubble wrap. Okay. <clears throat> you, you, can, you can continue that later. Alright, so let me see. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. And more bubble wrap. Okay. <laughs> oh man. So you are thinking, what are we gonna do before packet? Packets of brownie crisps. Well, we're gonna taste it and we're gonna find out if they're good. I mean, I think they're probably gonna be good because it's brownie. I mean, how could you go wrong with brownie? I mean, if you guys checked in our last episode, I mean, no, is it last episode? The last or two last episodes on food related videos, um, you probably will see that we've actually made our own brownie from a recipe that we got from the internet. Uh, and yeah, the recipe is. Ooh, spot on <laughs> and we still do have some leftovers even after like a week and yeah we're gonna compare between an original brownie and this brownie crisps see if they're you know better or on par with actual brownies and look at this so let's see how many flavors do we have here first we got white chocolate here right next flavor we've got Dark chocolate. Must have dark chocolate with white chocolate, right? Then we have dark chocolate with mixed nuts. I'm guessing those who are allergic to nuts should not take this. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, oh, this one I'm really looking forward to. As you guys can see, the flavor is called milk tea. Milk tea. Dude, who makes brownies with milk tea? Or who makes milk tea brownies? Or who even put milk tea in brownies? Who even drink tea with brownies? No one. But they put milk tea with brownies. And they're selling it. So it must be good. Right? Oh. This is gonna be our last, last one to taste. Definitely. And I'm having really high hopes for this. It should be good. I'm really hoping this. Okay, you know what? We should start first with our actual brownie. Just to remind us of the flavour that we had previously. So let's bring in our, well, say, scratch recipe uh, of brownies. Okay, I'll link it down below in the comments, I mean, in the description box with the recipe for you guys, if you guys, you know, keen to actually make one yourself. So I'm gonna just taste a bit of the brown. Okay. It's so chocolatey, moist, melts in your mouth. Literally, I don't even have to crunch. I just have to do that, and it's disappeared. The thing is, they mentioned in the recipe to use semi-dark chocolate, 
but technically speaking, you can use any kind of droplet if you want. As long as the ratio is proper. And we use dark Belgian dark chocolate. I think that's what it's really good. Okay, it's in my mind right now. Yeah, I can remember it. Okay, let's go and taste the brownie crisps. Let's see, here are the four brownie crisps. And right now, you know what? I think we should just go with the dark chocolate because we just tasted our original brownie, our scratch brownie. And like I said, it was made from Belgian dark chocolate. So, well, let's go with the dark chocolate first then. And by the way, just so you know, every single one of these crisps are actually halal. And uh, yeah, it's made from Thailand, guys. Let's dig in and try this. So I'm gonna put the camera here, okay? I'm gonna open this. It's not open yet, so I'm gonna do it. Ooh. I'm always feeling sad when I'm opening this. Because it looks so nice. And I have to open it like crazy. Oh, by the way, these bags are resealable. They have this zip lock mechanism to it. So if you haven't finished this whole packet, or if you can't finish this whole packet, well at least you can keep it for the next day. It's pretty handy. So let's see. Oh. It reminds me of chocolate. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally just chocolate. Right. I think you should just see it. This at least. Come on. Let me get the camera again. Okay. There you go. That's how the inside looks like. Half of the packet is air, and the other half is brownie crisps. All right, so I'm gonna take one out and show it to you guys in detail. Okay. Hmm. Actually, very thin. I mean, it is crisp, so it should be very thin. Wait, should I measure this? Like, how thin this is? Hold on, hold on. Let me just put it on the plate. Okay. All right. It's quite dark. Let me just see how thin this thing is. Oh my god. It's um three millimeters thin. Three millimeters. Zero point three cm thin. So you know what? Let's not delay anymore, let's just taste it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's pretty addictive. Oh, oh. This one has some chocolate chips on it, so. Mm. If you ever bite the chocolate chips, it's definitely gonna burst with some sweetness to it. Otherwise, the rest of the brownie crisp has that dark chocolate bitterness taste. But yeah, I mean, flavor wise, it stayed true to the name. It is dark chocolate. Let's just say that when I was eating the original or the scratch recipe brownie, well, that is moist because, yes, it is an actual brownie. This is like if you literally just put this in a dehydrator and then dry it out. Hold on. Mm, okay. Yeah, I mean, the other taste is okay, so let me see. The addictive level to this would be not the same as a chocolate chip cookie. You know, people do sell chocolate chip cookies nowadays, like in this bite size, and I have a feeling that is much more addictive than this. But still, if you do want to give it a try, then Bites is the first brand that you should try it out for. Comparing it to a brownie, an actual brownie, it's not fair really because texture wise is totally different. Yes, as you can probably heard, the crunchiness of a crisp and the non crispiness of a moist brownie. To be honest, I prefer brownies to be moist because that's how it's supposed to be. Brownie crisp is just a different take on an original brownie. But still, I mean, yeah, it's really not bad though. The flavour is still true to the flavour. Dark chocolate, bitterness on point, sweetness comes from the chocolate chips. Some bits have the chip, some bits doesn't have, some bits have like four to five of it. Yeah, so it's not even spread out. Yeah. I, I do wish, you know, if Dan Bites could make it better, one way is to spread the chips out evenly to every single bite size piece so everyone could at least taste a bit of sweetness. So this only has one. But still, it, it makes for a good snack. Yeah, 
Let me see if I rank this in terms of flavor out of 10 points. Mm, okay, the brownie is also a flavor I gave an 8 if I'm not wrong in the previous episode. I mean, that is an actual brownie. For brownie crisps, in terms of flavor, I mean, it's not Belgian dark chocolate, but it's still dark chocolate. I'll give it around hmm, 7. I mean, it's not an 8, but 7 is good enough. I mean, 7 is the type of level of food I probably will eat. But eating it again, unless I'm on, I'm on a budget, preferably not eat it again. But if I have the budget, I will definitely come back again. Alright, the only reasonable other option to go for now is to go for the dark chocolate with mixed nuts. Ah, there it is. Hopefully, it's better. Although I'm pretty sad to say that those who are allergic to nuts, you guys can't even taste this. But there's other flavours out there, and there are three more flavours from the end So okay, let's open this up. Okay, so yeah, um, packaging wise, I think everything's the same. 50% of it is air, 50% of it is brownie crisps, so... Hmm? Okay. Sorry. Pretty good. Let me just take one out. It's, um... <laughs> you can see it's curved. <laughs> it curved. Okay, this has nuts. But I'm guessing, what kind of nuts do they have? Wait, I'm not, I'm not going to see the, 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 the ingredients list. Okay, let me just try to guess what kind of nuts they put here. Um, wait, is it just me or is it like this? It's easier to munch through compared to the dark chocolate? Oh, that is weird. Wait, let me just try again. Okay, the normal dark chocolate. It's the same, in terms of um, texture wise. Yeah, I wonder if this is nuts, the texture is still the same. Because nuts are chopped very finely, you also can't get a textural difference that much. But in terms of flavour, because it's dark chocolate with mixed nuts, so the dark chocolate really outshines the whole thing. Makes sense, because dark chocolate are quite potent in terms of flavour. This wise is I couldn't guess. I couldn't guess what type of nut they use. Oh my gosh, what type of nut did they use actually? You know what they said on the ingredient list? You guys have to guess. I give you like three seconds to guess. What did they put? Three, two, one. Make your guesses. See that? I mean, if you can't see clearly, I'll, I'll take a screenshot of it. But under the ingredient under the ingredient list, it states as. Contains nuts. I'm not sure if it's peanut. I don't think it's just peanut because peanut is very distinct. Even in little bits, you can really taste peanuts. I'm not sure what kind of nuts they use. Okay. Flavor wise, those who are allergic to nuts, you're not gonna miss out anything much about this. You might as well just take the dark chocolate one because flavor wise, these two, I'm confident enough to say 95% flavor wise is identical. 95%. So, there you go. In texture wise also you can't really you can't really differentiate. So another seven out of ten, I'll say. Uh, okay. So the next one will be white chocolate. Isn't it just blondie? Okay, to be honest, I've never tasted blondies before. If, if you guys have tasted blondies, please comment down below and describe how it tastes like. That would really help. Okay, I'm just gonna try it out again. Time to open it. Oh! <laughs> Mm. Oh, the smell reminds me of butter cookies. And the shapes is different. Really different. You guys should have taken a look at this. What does that remind you guys of? Like literal potato chips. Look at that rounded, edgy shape. I'm guessing when they make this, it wasn't on like a, a square pan like the rest. I mean like the dark chocolate and the dark chocolate with nuts. I'm guessing like they block, they block the batter into the pan and therefore this is how it turned out so I'm guessing this little guy here should be white chocolate too okay let's taste it ooh 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 there's a very distinct difference in terms of texture within this the white chocolate and the dark chocolate or the dark chocolate with mixed nuts the distinct difference is that once you bite into this the, the white chocolate one it just snaps right away and every single bite if you take again and again and again it just snaps all the way through as for the dark chocolate i mean they have similar texture 
but when you bite it, there's this sensation of going through a layer of air inside. Then once you puncture the air, then you get a crisp. But this, no such pockets of air. It's just crisp all the way in. So that's interesting. But I mean, white chocolate is not chocolate. If some of you guys haven't known, white chocolate is literal butter. Yeah, that they make it to turn, that they make it to turn and taste it like chocolate. Sorry, it's just a tongue twister. So that is the key. I'm literally eating butter biscuits. A so very much crunchier butter biscuits. And in terms of sweetness level, it's a bit higher, just a bit higher than dark chocolate. It makes sense because dark chocolate has bitterness to it. But since it's just butter and sugar, yeah, it has slightly more sh um, sugar flavor to it. But in other words, yeah, this is literally much more crispier than the, than the dark chocolate brown crisps. In terms of rating wise, I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10. The reason is because why is it slightly higher? So far, it's really good. Yeah, I'm not disappointed at all. To be honest, I can't really compare it to an actual brownie because it's just not fair. But at least it reminds me of the flavor difference and the textural difference to it. So, in other words, brownie crisps, they are on a different scale compared to normal brownies. For me, I would prefer to eat normal brownies <laughs> any time of the day. But of course, the thing is, with crisp, you can literally munch it when you're working because it's a snack. But for brownies, you can't do that because every single block of brownie has a lot of calories. But anyways, um, yeah, let's get on and move on to the milk tea. Let's try to open this up. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, the milk tea. Oh, there was a reaction of someone who loves milk tea, and I do love milk tea. Okay, okay. In Singapore, we have this brand called Poka, and we have Poka milk tea. So if you drink a lot of Poka milk tea before, and now you're sniffing this up, this tastes exactly—I mean, smells exactly like Poka milk tea. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'll show you guys what inside looks like. There you go. I think it's made the same way as, um, as the white chocolate version of it. It looks like a shape. This is more uniform. They are trying to make it into a rectangle. So, the milk tea version, there's no additional bits and pieces on the brownie itself. Unlike white chocolate, you have white chocolate bits. Dark chocolate, you have dark chocolate chips. Dark chocolate with mixed nuts, you have mixed nuts on top. This one is clean, clean surface. There's a distinct difference. And of course, it's light brown. Not beige, not dark chocolate, light brown. And okay, let's get to the try. Kudos to those people who stand by. You guys literally managed to put the flavor of milk tea into this crisp. To be honest, I can't say this is brownie anymore. This isn't brownie. Should just rebrand it to milk tea crisps. Literally, this doesn't taste a single bit of chocolate, guys. No chocolate flavor, just pure milk tea. Guys, come on, this is not brownie anymore. It's purely milk tea. Amazing. Okay, let me compare the shape wise. Let me just take it from there. It's closely related to the white chocolate version in terms of the shape. Okay, this is the white chocolate, and this is the milk tea. So, Okay, I can, I can stand, I'm, I'm confident to say that most of the milk tea crisps, they are quite uniform, they stay, they stay in this slim rectangular shape, whereas most of the white chocolate, it tends to get fatter. I mean, I think it's supposed to turn out to be like this, but instead it didn't. It decides to go fatter on a fat diet, so it becomes like that. So yeah, you can see the difference. So this, the white chocolate didn't stay in its shape. Uh, but the milk tea did, it did stay in shape for the milk tea. So yeah, okay. After tasting the milk tea, okay, because milk tea, you see, milk tea, when you drink milk tea, there's a milk, there's a bit of sweetness, and there's tea flavor, which has a slight of 
bitterness to it too. But it's tea. It's tea bitterness and you're and you're used to it. Because we Asians drink a lot of tea. For dark chocolate, we don't eat dark chocolate that much that often, even though it has bitterness. So I, I prefer the bitterness of milk tea compared to that of the bitterness of dark chocolate. Because I'm used to drinking milk tea and I like milk flavour. And to be honest, I'll rate this as 8 out of 10. Yeah, it's probably the same as the actual brownie, right? Because the actual brownie is just normal brownie with Belgian dark chocolate. If anyone can make any snacks with a unique flavour that doesn't belong in that snack, for example, like milk tea, I'll give you as high points as I can go. And this deserves 8 out of 10 from me. If you guys ever want to try a milk tea snack and you know you don't know where to start, start with 10 bites. I'll buy again to be honest. I mean 10 bites uh, send us this for free uh, to let us taste and review it. So if I ever had a chance to actually uh, buy one, I'm gonna buy one. And this, I'm gonna buy two of this. I'm not gonna buy the rest, I'm just gonna buy this. Really, just this, because I love this. I love the fact that they can make milk tea into a snack. Uh, in terms of flavour, this is how it's gonna be ranked. Both the dark chocolate and dark chocolate with mixed nuts, they're on par at 7 out of 10. Followed by the white chocolate at 7.5. And of course, the reigning champ, the milk tea. Okay. So let me just be clear, everyone has different kind of preferences in terms of flavour and taste. So I mean if you guys have a slightly different preference, do comment down below and let me know. I'll love to read it. Um thank you guys for watching so much. Uh and then might say if you guys think this, I'm hoping that you guys could, could create more unique flavours in the future. And my favorite, the milk tea. That's it for me. You guys, um hopefully you guys can subscribe to our channel. Do look out for more videos. We have four videos per week. Food related are always being uploaded on Fridays. So yeah, i see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Sorry guys, I need to break it up to you guys. Um, after checking the ingredient list thoroughly this time round for every single brownie crisps, what I realized, every single one of them did mention that they contain traces of nuts. So anyone who is allergic to nuts, I'm so sorry. You guys can't get them. I'm so sorry. Even milk tea. I'm surprised even even the milk tea flavor has nuts, has traces of nuts. Not solid nuts, but traces of it. And another thing that I need to also let you guys know. Um, my bad. Then by um, if you guys are watching this video, I'm so sorry. For your okay, I'm also a bit confused. Um, for your dark chocolate with mixed nuts, it says here it contains. Almond, cashew nut, and pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed is not a nut, but okay. Um, and then he also mentioned contains nuts. So, are you trying to say that aside from almond, cashew nut, and pumpkin seed, there may be other nuts involved? Or is just trying to say that, or trying to reiterate again that this thing contains nuts, which are specifically almond, cashew, and Pumpkin seed. And also to let you guys know, one more thing, the third thing for today. Apparently, you guys can eat this and accompany it with tea, coffee, and milk. Now, brownies and milk are, is a pretty well known fact as a partner items. But tea and coffee? Hmm. Well, I guess we could try. I mean, I'm, I'm not a coffee person. But I am a tea person and I'm not too sure what kind of tea do they recommend. So what I have here is a bottle of green tea. Let's see if one of them works well. You know what the irony is? I think I'm gonna try the milk tea flavor with green tea. See if we can like for example combine milk green into milk green tea. And we know there is such thing as a milk green tea out there. So yeah, why not? Milk tea, green tea, let's try.
Not bad. Got chocolate. There you go. It's chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I get it. I approve. You can drink tea and eat these crepes together. Coffee wise, I'm not too sure because coffee, I'm, I'm, I'm not a coffee person. So yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it from me.